Good morning. Welcome, guys, gals, and non binary pals. Good morning, everybody. Happy Pants Off Monday. All right. Ready up, buddy. Let's night night. finish this. Once and for all. Yeah, wait, no. I'm I'm John. Why did it okay. tell me I was Angela? I don't know. What Move, the Andrew! What is this? Hey, look! A card! Oh, is it a postcard? The thing uh, that I wanted? Give me. <laughs> Hand it over. I set it down. Oh. Hand it hey, over! Hey, guys! God. Oh. Oh. Mary! Mary! I would you stop walking? Mary! You ruin everything that I'm trying to do! Mary! <laughs> See anything? Cause you What's out there? What's out Mary. there? What's out there? Why don't Mary I have a flashlight? I want a flashlight. Why do you, you get a flashlight? Have I said flashlight enough? <laughs> you don't get flashy lights. Oh, I found... Me, Ty, Dote, Walker! I've... <clears throat> I found a, a picture on the wall. I would uh, also like to examine oh, the geez. picture once you're Good done, morning. John. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would also Scared like to me. examine... <laughs> I wonder who the the dude in the tall black dress is. You know, Santa Claus. <laughs> right, right, right. I seen the red eyes. Yeah. Do you hear about the new uh, Santa Claus movie that's coming out? It's like the Santa Claus killer movie. It's called Bad Santa. Wait, uh, say it again. There's a Santa Claus killer movie coming out. It's called Bad Santa. I. I think I have. Did you see they're they're doing the Grinch scary? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, we are not promoting or being advertised by these guys. God, would we like to be? But we're not. Just conversation. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, that's old John. Bad manners. Letter from Rev Carver, September 71. I'll have to read. Oh, dear Anne. Wait, wasn't that, oh. wasn't Anne the mom? Yeah. I'll read it. Dear Anne, thank you for your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concerns and assure you that your daughter's rebellious behavior is not unusual. I've helped parents with similar issues. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, I see this. Excuse me. Excuse. This makes less and less sense. You go and see that. Am I? Fucking paper. I'm gonna keep looking. Stop picking stuff up. I see too. I've helped parents with similar issues. And would be happy to help with Megan's moral guidance. Hebrews 12:11 says that all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the beautiful fruit of righteousness. <laughs> Please see me after the service on Sunday, so we can arrange time with personal instruction. This man was grooming your daughter, and you arranged it. Are you reading that, John? Go look. No, I heard you. I'll, I'll read it when this video gets posted. I found the clock. Stay down! <laughs> Who's there? Tom, was that you? <laughs> Wait, what secret did I find? Grandfather clock. Oh, there's a key in there. Can I have that? I don't know, there's a key in there. 
What was the point of this? <laughs> what was, oh, Whoa, what was the secret about that? Be. I'm moving. I'll check it out, John. You don't know what you're doing. Apparently not. Wait, when did I get a flashlight? <laughs> you didn't. No, I have a flashlight now. Yeah, I don't know. That, that key must be for not us. <laughs> I tried to open the back door. <laughs> I let the spookies in. I want to let the spookies in. Spookies! Uh... Okay, are we ready to go up? Are we ready to go up? Yeah, we're ready to go up. Let's go. Okay. Get your old <laughs> ass up the stairs, John. What was that? <laughs> I, was, I don't know why you just What's turned around noise? and stood there. My guess is the girl. We need to find her. I don't, I don't I don't. know why John does the things he do. I don't know. Where did Angela go? She's in here. Good morning. What do you think you're doing? It's okay. Probably dead or something, man. I don't know. Trust me. I don't trust you. Mary! Mary! A record. I remember that. Find her, Andrew. Find the goddamn vinyl. <laughs> Mary! Oh. Let go of me! Andrew! You can't do we it, are all Mary. gathered here in one place again. Oh, am I alone? I am filled with dread at the purpose. I don't know. I'm I'm talking to Mary. Oh yeah, no friendo. I'm I'm in. Uh, I'm I assure in the, all the gathered here today that our town will be free yeah, so of the I. devil's grasp. You're not Together, with me. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. Are you watching the preach? The My word on it. Preacher talk. This call yeah. is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Orb, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now this tainted child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Uh, I don't bind to her act or we have to intervene. Um, yeah. We, have oh, we, have, we have to intervene. Have lost their minds. This is collective hysteria, paranoia. We've got to intervene. Stop this somehow. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would. But now, in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. Carver is evil. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all Do his not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. Carver's to blame. Listen to him. Carver's the one to blame. What must I do to bring Little Hope back into the light? I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. Uh-huh. You have to stop Carver. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage?
What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. Mm. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! What a mob. The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Burn. Not me! I see her! I see her! Satan's fall! You will pay heavily for your crimes! I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you. I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all, my dears. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, from John, too. <laughs> Shut up, John. This ain't about you. And apparently not. Did, did, did we do it? Is it over? Did we... Did we do good? I gotta admit, I'm impressed. You made all the right moves. You called out the priest for what he really was and saved Mary. Mm-hmm. We saved Mary. Why do I feel like I did nothing? Like none of it matters. Because it's all in the past. You should leave. Where's Angle? He does because Mary Angela's what dead. Just happened? Oh, this is there some is. kind of resolution? I honestly think so. Thanks to Andrew, I think this night is finally over. Do we do good? Is it over? Um <gasps> Bro, it's boarded up. I'm not gonna go. Uh... It's it boarded up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, Sango. Uh -oh. There's a back door. I don't feel like we did it. What? Hey, yo. Hang on, it's dead. We did it all right. Obviously, Carver was the devil. <laughs> John just John just walks up to the ang to Andrew and goes, "I'm sorry, Angela's dead." How <laughs> 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 fucking the war? Mm. Wait, so we saved John? Yeah. John's alive. What did we do wrong with Angela? I don't know. She didn't leave the house. Why didn't she leave the house? I don't she know. Was just there. <laughs> was she, she just stood there to and let it happen? Yeah, there was no getting out of it. So all but two. Hey, we saved our two people. I guess. 
But that's kind of weird, though, because... <laughs> you got I... someone killed, I got someone killed, and the game deemed Angela unworthy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real sorry. Thanks, Vince. I know it wasn't your fault. Wait a second. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Okay. okay. Ain't nothing left here for you. It's just Andrew and John, two dudes. <coughs> yeah, no, yeah. It's just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of I'm us. I'm real sorry for what I've put you all through. Um. <laughs> put you all through? <laughs> We've all had one hell of a rough night. More than anyone. That's gonna haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. All been through you hell, that, right? We're finally getting out of this hell. Blame yourself for it. I have a second. John. Wait. I just wish we all could have made it. Antoine. The bus driver. Antoine! What? We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. <laughs> the cop's like, uh huh. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Wait, were they all? Wait a second. Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. It uh, he created all the characters. So there was Based no off his Angela. dead family members. Ah, <laughs> uh, forgiveness. Thank you. <laughs> Strength from within. <laughs> that what that was? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. Okay. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. We could. Uh-huh. That is an option. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, 
They will haunt you forever. Not a bad yeah. effort. Some found redemption, some didn't. Yeah. Oh, uh, Cake Man, what was in your window? Oh, do we? Cake Man, and were you, you in the window? Eventually, found him. The bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. Ah, uh, respectful in this house. Respectful cake dance. Respectful pushing in the chair. We are respectful in this house. Till we meet again. <laughs> respectful Maybe bowler in the hat. South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert, or somewhere else. But we will meet again. Sure, cake man. At least one more time. Yeah? No doubt, Cake Man, no doubt. Absolutely. How the doors just close on you, Cake Man? Cake Man? How the doors just close like that? <laughs> it, it's, hey man, that that cake got a gravitational pull. <laughs> cake says. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, uh, how, how skip. <laughs> my, my button, my button, no do skip. <laughs> well, that was little hope. Okay, so I can't, I can't skip this. <laughs> so I, I hope it's not copyrighted. Um, I also can't turn the game down. How do you? I'm, I'm trying. I'm pushing everybody. This is probably over it. I tell you, Alex Crozen, Tim Green, Christina Blaskow, <laughs> Phil, oh, Will Poulter, Alex, Kyle, Caitlin, Ellen, Kevin, Ella, Holly, right Martin, Scott, Rebecca, Louise, David, Adam, Freddie, Pip, Kurt, George, Pip, David, Darius. <laughs> Take man's name is Pip. <laughs> His man's name is Pip. Unreal Engine. Little Hope uses the Unreal Engine. <laughs> okay, skip to the end. Gareth Pierre. Skip to the end. Um, I gave myself a headache reading all those names. <laughs> oh, this is the... This is the next game. This is House of Ashes. We'll start uh -huh. We are under attack by... I don't know what. You wouldn't believe me even if I try to help. I don't believe in it, I was there. In Sumerian myth, they say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the House of Ashes, where they lived on dust and plagued by the demons of the underworld. Twenty twenty one was last year. Guess what was, comes next? 2021 was six years ago, man. Not yet. <laughs> uh, we will be playing House of Ashes next, though. So, just a yeah, heads up so, for uh, Wednesday. Stay tuned. Uh, what did you think of the game? Uh, it was good. Who was your favorite character? My favorite character? Probably... I like Andrew. I like Cake Man yeah. best, but you know. Cake Man definitely Cake top Man. tier. <clears throat> Maybe in House of Ashes we'll get to play as Cake Man. Um. <laughs> hope you hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, Cake Man's cake is covered by the chair. You know that chair is not doing it justice. No, no, it is not. <laughs> Um, oh, there's a little swine cake. There's a little bad cake. <laughs> <laughs> who was who was your favorite character? Uh, either Andrew or Taylor. I like Taylor. Yeah, I like Taylor. I like her sassiness. All right. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> How not. How she was Angela. always clapping back at Angela. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not Angela. <laughs> um, there were some times that I liked Angela. Angela reminds me of just the senile old lady. Not senile, but. Uh, she Got definitely near. had a Karen vibe to her. 
she reminds me of near seeing how. But you know the game the game punished her for that? Said, you know what, you're not making it out alive. Sorry. <laughs> we did everything <laughs> right for you to make it out alive, but you're still not gonna. Um, uh, game deemed you unworthy of surviving. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay, so we still have some time. I'm going to go into a story. If you don't want to hear my story, you can click off now. Bye. Uh, Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> so my story is um, what has happened to me the last week. Uh, you know the details. Yeah. I was in the hospital the first of this month. It started out great. I uh, have been diagnosed with having GERD which I kind of knew was coming for a long time and preemptively have always like made sure to not eat certain foods but it got so bad that I literally was doubled over in pain for a week before I um, finally led into going to the hospital at 6 30 p.m. And we left at midnight 30 a.m. of the next day. I was there for um, uh, seven hours, six hours, seven hours, six. I was there for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> um, in doing that, I had to uh, sit there with everybody else around me. And most of the people were not bad. There was one gentleman who had a seizure right behind me and fell down face on the floor. <clears throat> it, I didn't know what to do. And I would like to give a little PSA for anybody out there that uh, deals with anybody else having a seizure what apparently you're supposed to do which I found out the next day you know great help the day before um you're supposed to support their head on its side so they don't choke on whatever is coming out of their mouth you're not supposed to stick your finger in their mouth to hold their tongue or so they don't bite their tongue off like it is commonly known you don't do that you just hold and support their head so it doesn't bash on the ground. And you wait until they come out of it. It was kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. You ever have you ever seen somebody have a seizure? Uh yeah. Actually. Really? I have yeah, I have a cousin who when we were younger, like way younger, he had really bad seizures. So like every half an hour or so he had a seizure. Oh bro. That's gonna be He had shit. real yeah, he had really bad seizures. Yeah, like no, uh I <laughs> we were Oh that's uh, gotta that's I don't know if you're like if you know because I read that it you don't know really that it happened after afterwards. You're just really tired and exhausted. Yeah, he he used to have that issue. He never knew that it actually happened. He'd yeah. come out of it, and we had to explain to him what just happened. Yeah. He it was it was really bad and sometimes really scary at times. Because okay. there was times where he would go into it for so long that you didn't know if you were supposed to call the like the ambulance or wait yeah. for him to come out of it. Most times he just came out of it. Yeah, I don't I don't but, know what the cutoff is right which is but there were very times scary where he, there were times where he'd go in go up into it for like up to five minutes five minutes this this dude was laying on the ground for for at least five minutes bro yeah. everybody was just it's, like still sitting there like no one yeah. know what what the fuck to do and we're like this man is having a seizure and the nurse calmly walks over and just lifts his head up I'm like, um, maybe you need to walk a little faster. <laughs> well, he uh, he ended up getting seizure medication, and yeah, he's been good for years now. Oh, that's good. He rarely ever has seizures anymore. This man was literally being—he was 
discharged. I don't know what he was in for, obviously. I don't know his medical history. Um, but he was just sitting there, and the next thing we know, he was on the ground having a seizure. Like, you could hear his head thump on the ground having a seizure. Right. Yeah, my cousin, he used to have standing seizures. Jeez. So, like, one minute you'd be standing there talking to him, next minute he'd be having a full-blown seizure while standing straight up. Good God. That's got to be scary. Anybody that has seizures, um, what do you, like, do you remember nothing? Do you remember some of it? Do you know you're going to have a seizure? Because I've, I've, uh, some people that do have reoccurring seizures, like, know when it's coming on. But, like, if you've ever had a seizure, let us know, like, how it felt, what happened, what the best thing to do is besides supporting their head and waiting if there's anything else you're supposed to do. Because we don't know how but, to yeah. handle that situation, obviously. Yeah. I uh I talked to him about it a while ago. I haven't talked to him in a little bit. I yeah. talked to him about it a while ago and he said you really don't even realize it's happening. You just yeah. out of nowhere come back in and everyone's standing around you and you're just lost. I mean, they do have, uh, like, um, service dogs that can, like, sense right. it coming on and, and uh, you know, alert you, alert right. others that this is going right. to happen just, you know, just as a heads well, up. They didn't really have one of those. Obviously. <laughs> but. Yeah. But no, he's, he's good now. We talk sometimes. He's. He rarely ever has seizures anymore. His medication works out amazing. Well, that's good. I know, uh, I think it was BGG told me that she's had, um, uh, what are they called? Uh, absent seizures? Or absent, absent something. And it's everything that happens for a seizure, but you're not laying convulsing. You're just like, it's basically you're just a shell until you come right. back from it. And honestly, I don't know if that's scarier or not. <laughs> right. Like he uh he didn't like you know how some people when they get like really bad seizures, they their mouth kinda starts to foam. Yeah, this dude's mouth was foaming. Um, well my cousin he didn't have that. His eyes just rolled to the back of his yeah. head and he just kinda stood there looking up. I, I think that's I think that's more common with an absent seizure. Yeah. I could be wrong. Again, correct me in the comments if, if you know more right. than I do. Right. We're not too like known for knowing what specific types of seizures are. Yeah. If you have any like medical knowledge, like as a doctor or a nurse or going through medical school or you yourself suffer from these illnesses uh let us know also um if you could give me like recommendations of what to eat <laughs> that'd be nice because <laughs> i'm a very picky eater already because i try not to eat things that hurt um yeah and as of right now there's nothing in the house that i can really eat without pain <laughs> so, yeah uh i'm also in the one to two percentile that can't eat bananas or melon because it also hurts and I'm really mad about that <laughs> <laughs> because I like both I love me some fucking watermelon and cantaloupe not as much honeydew but I don't mind it and I love, I love a honeydew. good banana and <laughs> I love a good nana in the morning I love a good nana and they hurt cause I read somewhere that I read multiple places. Like, every place that I looked at, they're like, oh, bananas are good um, for helping your stomach. And I'm like, all right, bet. because of the potassium in them. Every time I've had a banana, I've been, like, in so much pain. I'm not allergic to it. It's my GERD. <laughs> so so no I'm in that people. literal 1 to 2 percentile of GERD havers that cannot eat banana 
or any type of melon safely. If you have any food, I would be very appreciative. Any recipes? No more nightmares for you. <laughs> any recipes? I'm very appreciative for a very picky eater. Um. But you yeah, have a family it's... member that's got GERD. Let us know what they eat. Yeah, it's this is a whole. I've already worked on for years what I can and can't eat, and it's limited it even more now that I will be in physical even more pain because I went I thought I was uh I was having like really sharp pains in like my lower left side slash stomach area and I had no idea that it was GERD I thought I was having like an organ not failure but like something's wrong with uh some type of organ in my body and it was it happened to be my stomach uh burping is hell <laughs> it brings all that loveliness up my throat mm. so that sexy is. i know thank you for listening to me bitch and moan from the for, for the last like 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> um yeah that's what's been going on with me <laughs> that uh that's then, the video <laughs> then we had hell getting the medication because my girlfriend goes out to get the medication since it's at our our local um supermarket uh so she can shop and do that while i'm asleep because i have a very irregular sleeping pattern and uh they gave her hell they give her hell every time she needs to pick up a prescription for me which I I only have three prescriptions. My testosterone and uh, now these two medications that the hospital put me on. But they gave her hell for this too. They're like, it's the same thing. We're not filling both. And if you want it, it's going to be like two or three hours. And she's like, bitch, I'm going to call the nurse at my doctor. <laughs> And she did that, and apparently the nurse chewed them all hardcore. And uh, they're like, it'll be ready in 15 minutes. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to you bitches. <laughs> um, that's, that's what's been going on with me. Uh, how you been, man? <laughs> uh, 9 to 5, man. 9 to 5. 9 to 5? YouTube ain't paying yet. Gotta bring in money somehow. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so uh, we'll leave this here. Let us know what other games you want to watch us play. If you don't want to watch us play games and just sit and bitch for an hour, if... Uh, let us know. Because, <laughs> you know, we're considering... Uh, we're considering on changing the channel a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day or night, depending on what time you're watching, and if today's your birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, and happy Pants Off Monday. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let us know what you want to see next. Thanks for being here with us. Have a safe flight home. We'll see you next season. <laughs>